Welcome back everybody, welcome back to another episode on EI Entertainment Studios, back at it with another debate episode. Today's debate episode, we're going to be talking about Godzilla 2019 versus Earth Ghidorah. Call him Earth King Ghidorah as you wish too. Anyways, we are here to do a very interesting debate video because most of the time when we do a debate video, I'll get one original kaiju and one fan-made kaiju. And then we'll test the fan-made kaiju to see if it were to be real, what would its abilities be, characteristics be, most importantly, how would it fight and level up against Godzilla. But in this case, I decided to do something a little bit different this time and do two original kaijus. So this one is it's gonna be an interesting one. We're gonna talk about Earth Ghidorah. I believe I've never even done this about Earth Ghidorah, so this is a first for this debate episode, so. Same rules apply, we're gonna go over Earth Ghidorah first, go over the backstory, abilities, characteristics, all that good stuff. We'll also do that to Godzilla. Once we both do uh, both of the monsters, we'll put them up against each other to see who would be the true king of the monsters. So without further ado, Let's begin with the backstory of Earth Ghidorah. Earth Ghidorah was discovered by the Exif clergy when they attempted to see beyond the boundaries of the universe. And in despair of the finiteness of existence, they summoned it to destroy their home world. Which is a little bit interesting why they would do that, right? The few surviving members of the Exif clergy took to worshipping Ghidorah as a god of destruction, locating planets with the sentient life and converting their inhabitants to their religion before sacrificing them to their god in an attempt to enable it to permanently manifest and destroy everything. This incarnation of King Ghidorah is an extraterrestrial energy being from another dimension, which evolved to discard his physical form in favor of a purely energy-based form. So. The big thing to take away from this is the Exif, the aliens who pretty much just try to summon Ghidorah, are mad shit crazy. They don't care about their own planet. Um, the existence is finiteness, and all they want to do is destroy everything with Ghidorah. That's how they see that they're worshipping Ghidorah. So, that's the basic thing you should take away from this. Now, abilities, I'm going to quickly go over them, and we'll finish off Earth Ghidorah, and then we'll go back to the abilities and do a full discussion on them, deep, an deep analysis on them anyways. But, um, just want to make this clear, usually for backstories on debate videos of the, of the fan-made kaijus, I'll make them. Since this is an original kaiju, I didn't touch this, so I'll put the link of where I actually found this, because this is the one I actually did not make, just to make that clear. Anyways, let's quickly go over the abilities, let's skim over that real quick. Electricity emission, energy siphoning, extra dimensional nature, gravitational powers, space-time distortion, connection problems. Well, that one is actually a different one. Uh, I, I said it because it's not an ability. But we'll talk about that. That's actually a disability. Or you could say a problem that he has is a connection problem. And if you've seen the film, the animation, you'll know what I'm talking about. It comes from Memphis. Uh, but we'll, we'll go into that when the time comes. And then the length of Earth Ghidorah is 20 kilometers. Territorial level is high. Aggression exceeds maximum level. And in this case, uh, according to the film, the biome, is unlimited because he does technically have no physical form. Well, unless he wants to. Okay, so let's go back to the abilities and let's do a deep analysis. So, first of all, uh, Earth Ghidorah has electricity emission. That's the... it's a more of a scientific way of saying gravity beams. It, that's pretty much what it means. He has strong electric electric electricity I don't know, I can't talk <laughs> electricity powers or electrical powers or we can say it um, in the form of a gravity beam he can attack his opponents 
and they are super super strong the, uh, the electricity emissions are actually I would say 10 times stronger than any other incarnation of Ghidorah's uh, gravity beam any of them it's much more difficult to defense against and it's much more strong now the next one we have is energy siphoning this one is an interesting one uh, so what this Ghidorah can actually do is suck energy out of his opponents and his clear idea of that doing it in um, the film the, th the trilogy of the anime series uh, Earth Ghidorah sucks out energy out of Earth Godzilla in the film and that's what uh, energy siphoning is called now going at it with that also this is a easy reference we can say from Toho to Godzilla Final Wars when Kaiser Ghidorah started sucking out of sucking energy out of Godzilla 2004 it's pretty much the same thing that it's doing here it sucks out energy it's an interesting reference that they did but I caught that one maybe maybe you did too and then we have the extra dimensional nature now this one is not exactly what a lot of people think the first time that I saw this when I watched the movie, I knew about this, but the wording of the abilities was a bit misleading, I'll say. First, when I saw Extra Dimensional Nature, I thought that maybe since he's not physical, he has a 3D nature. That's not exactly what this ability is trying to show us. Extra Dimensional Nature, all it's trying to say is that it has different forms. As in, it's true, for example, in, um, in the film Memphis, when she sure when she spawned um, Earth Ghidorah, he didn't come first as in the way he was in the final battle. He was first a spirit, and then he was a shadow. That's what this is an extra dimensional nature. So he has many, many different forms. That's what it meaning. What I personally thought was maybe since it was you know spiritual a spiritual being it was untouchable through it was like a super 3d form but that's not what, that's not what the case is anyways now that we know we're on the same page he has gravitational powers yes his opponents will feel immense pressure uh, next to him so the um, the gravity becomes super pressurized making it really difficult for his opponents to move uh, when they're around Ghidorah. That's the gravitational power and space-time distortion. Now, this one is a little bit weird because, well, not that it's weird, it's just that I'm not sure if it'll truly affect Godzilla. Yes, it affects humanity as it literally destroys time for a few minutes when he's around, but I don't think Godzilla cares about that. I really don't think Godzilla cares about that, so I don't see that as a true threat threat to Godzilla but we can say it's a threat to all of humanity right because they could trick them into not thinking something's wrong and they'll come and kill all of them so let's talk about the connection problem now, this is not an ability this is a anti ability now if you've noticed King Ghidorah can be ill illed <laughs> killed very easily super easily now it could be just that Earth Go Godzilla is super strong that he made it look super easy but going off of that as soon as King Ghidorah's spiritual form gets destroyed as in the main source which is Memphis if the main source who summoned her uh, Ghidorah dies he loses his spiritual form and what's gonna happen is he becomes physical and Godzilla's atomic breath was enough to kill him that's how weak he was in that sense, so I just want to take into consideration. Okay, that pretty much sums up Earth Ghidorah in a nutshell. Let's go over and talk about Godzilla 2019. Godzilla 2019 is an interesting Godzilla because it is the one Godzilla that has such a different meaning and origin based on the other Godzillas completely. And you're saying, what do you mean by this? Let me explain. Every Godzilla, and literally almost every Godzilla from Toho Studios, specifically the original Godzilla and Shin Gojira, both of them, and 
pretty much, as I said, all the Godzillas are spawns of the nuclear bomb or the atomic bomb, and they are an they are not a good thing. They are a mistake, an abomination to humanity. And they, they're not natural. They're not meant to be here. And they destroy everything, right? Godzilla 1954 was destroying everything, putting radioactivity everywhere and just destroying everything in its path. Same with Shin Godzilla. It's a mistake and it's suffering and it's here to destroy. It's not to say that Earth will naturalize it but it's it was never a natural creature it was a mistake and it is bad and because of radioactivity it was given extra crazy powers especially especially for shin godzilla but when it comes to legendary godzilla that's not the case godzilla is not a mistake from the atomic bomb the atomic bomb just woke it up it did not create it right and this monster, Godzilla 2019, is a natural monster, a natural phenomenon, meant to, it's meant to be here, it has its place in the Earth's balance. It is here to restore balance and it protects Earth from any invaders. So it's a natural thing. And because of that, Legendary Studios knew that they couldn't rank up crazy abilities for it because it's not radioactive, well it is radioactive but it's not spawned from radioactivity. Like Shin Godzilla was where he had these crazy abilities. So he lacks a little bit on the ability side. He does have one thing to kind of cover it up, but other than that, he lacks. So he he's very general. He can kick, he can punch. He knows how to, he can fight. Tail he has one of the strongest tail whips. He has the atomic breath, which is a strong atomic breath, not the strongest out of all Godzilla's, but it definitely is up there. He is the only Godzilla that I've seen currently, with my own two eyes, to survive a blast from the Oxygen Destroyer, something the original Godzilla could not do. And he has one ability that needs two catalysts, that is a super strong ability, but it's not, an, it's not a new ability, it's an ability that's been done before. Uh, so it's definitely not creative, but it is very well depicted in this Godzilla. And it is burning Godzilla. And he needs two different catalysts. Obviously this is much different from the other Godzilla, from the actual burning Godzilla. But he needs two catalysts. He needs extra energy coming from Mothra. She has to die for this to occur. And he needs more radiation than his body, meaning excessive radiation. So some secondary source has to give him like another nuclear bomb might blow up in his face will give him much more energy and that those two catalysts will cause him to explode with excessive heat of radiation and will melt everything in its path and the height is around 119 meters tall territory level is maximum aggression is maximum well I would say moderate unless it's aggravated and then it'll go maximum and the biome is earth Ocean, pretty much everywhere on Earth. Ocean, land, volcano, everywhere on Earth Godzilla can travel to. So, going from that one idea, that sums up Godzilla as well. Now that we have these two kaijus controlled, let's go ahead and go to the final phase, the battle phase. Okay. In the battle phase, what I like to do is I like to go one close range and one far range. Obviously close range being the more practical one, so we'll keep the best for last. So let's start off with far range. And why do I do this? Because far range tests the, the Kaiju's ability if their abilities were to be restricted. Close range uh, tests them at face-to-face -face combat. And if in a rare uh, occurrence we do go to extra time or overtime I'll talk about that but we don't need to talk about that at the moment so let's go ahead and speak about this so for clo uh, far excuse me far range we'll go at 700 meters apart let's start off with Earth Hidora and see what he can and cannot use in terms of far range so electricity emission of course, it's meant to go long distances. The, uh, the gravity beams, you could say, electricity emission is perfectly applicable to this situation. Energy siphoning, 
No. We can't go close to our opponent, it's far range, so that's it's, even though he's very long, this is restricted, so he cannot use energy siphoning. Because he has to actually bite his opponents to do that. Extra dimensional nature, sure, but I don't see that being a true threat to Godzilla. Gravitational powers, yes. And then we have the space time distortion. Okay. So the only thing he cannot use is um, energy siphoning. Everything else he can use. And then we have Godzilla, which is limited to only two abilities here. He can only use atomic breath and uh, burning ability. Okay. So obviously, I always say this, if this is Godzilla 2019, he is the defender of Earth. He will be causing this battle at sight. Because Ghidorah is not from this world, Godzilla's main objective is to protect Earth, and he will do that. So he will be the first one to initiate the battle as a warning, right? So, going with that, I think that Godzilla will use the atomic breath towards Earth Godzilla. But what's going to happen is absolutely nothing. Godzilla will get no outcome out of that because Ghidorah is not from this world and nothing from this world will affect him because he's going to come at him in a mm, spiritual form. Now, what about if he uses his burning ability? That is an interesting one. Now, we have to use this into our thoughts. I'm I really, because I can, I can make this into a really stupid debate and just say that Godzilla's gonna lose just because Earth Ghidorah is so spiritual. But we have to look, go back to the actual film, the, the third installment into the trilogy, and look how the connection was established. That's how we'll do a just analysis of this. Memphis. Now let's let's exam Let's say Memphis is here, right? Memphis is the one who spawned. Uh, Earth Ghidorah. Memphis is really, really stupid. Excuse my French, but Memphis is really stupid because two things. Memphis was around a lot of people. If if I were the person who were to spawn Earth Ghidorah, I would, and I'm the bad person, especially Haru. Who start sh and there's no way that she's not realizing that Haro is, is, is understanding this. She allows him to come closer to her. I think it's a she, right? Memphis is a she. I don't know. Who cares? But um, why would you let him come closer to you if you know that you are the only thing? It, even even if let's say Memphis didn't un realize that Haro is understanding that something's up. I still wouldn't trust anybody because I'm the only connection between Ghidorah and that's it. If I die, Ghidorah is done. If if and I'm if I've tried this hard to spawn him, then I'm gonna be committed to keeping myself safe for Ghidorah. But she fails to do that. She fails to do that. And also, the second thing is she stands quite close to Ghidorah. Yeah, she's not right next to it, but she's not too far away from Ghidorah. And that's another one. Once you spawn him, stay a good at least if you're gonna stay close, don't stay in an open area. She fails to do these two things, and I have to use these situations in the debate to make it fair, because if Memphis was much more smarter, Ghidorah would have been much more stronger. And Mem now, if Godzilla Earth uses his burning ability, which burns and destroys everything in its path for a good few miles of a radius, right? Memphis was definitely less than a mile away from Ghidorah. So when he uses the burning ability, the main connection will get destroyed. And that's when Earth Ghidorah will lack. And Godzilla will use either... No, we'll say Godzilla's pissed off and he'll use the burning ability and he will kill Earth Ghidorah with this. Putting it at 1-0 for Godzilla in terms of far range. I think I did a very good explanation there on my behalf. Okay. You can subscribe if you happen for that. Okay, next we have the finally, or the, the finally, <laughs> finally we have the finale, that's a better way of saying it. 
the close range battle. So obviously this is no limits face to face, every ability is here to use at their disposal. So this is where I think Earth Ghidorah will kind of do better. So let's talk. So Earth Ghidorah is humongous, gi ginormous, so long, would probably quadruple the size of Godzilla in this battle, right? Yeah, he would definitely quadruple the size of Godzilla. And putting that at that, right? Physically, it's going to be difficult. But, again, remember that we're going back to the basics. Ghidorah is spiritual against Godzilla. Now, Godzilla is going to be in big, big danger. Because if Ghidorah, well not if, he will, if they're right next to each other, Ghidorah will come and do the energy siphoning. When Ghidorah decides to do energy siphoning, he was hurting Godzilla Earth. Remember in the film, he was hurting Godzilla Earth, and look how big Godzilla Earth is, how much energy he possesses. So when he does this in the close range of energy siphoning on Godzilla 2019, I'm sorry to say this, folks, but he will die. There is no absolute... There is no way that Godzilla will survive an energy siphoning from King Ghidorah at that size of a kaiju against how small Godzilla 2019 is compared to him. Three energy sucks and he's over. I'm sorry, guys, but there is, there is no continuing after this. It's over. Godzilla will not survive. He barely survived the Oxygen Destroyer. This, he will not survive. He, Earth Ghidorah will suck him dry of energy out of existence. Uh, just because how strong he is, how big he is, how much force his mouth has, um, Godzilla will die. As soon as this happens, Godzilla will die, putting it at a 1-1. I'm really sorry, Godzilla fans, but that's the reality. Meaning we're going to go to overtime. And for overtime, we have an interesting one. We just go pure ability. So we'll start off with Earth Ghidorah and then move on to Godzilla. Earth Ghidorah has electricity emission, energy, energy siphoning, extra dimensional nature, gravitational powers, space time distortion. Godzilla has the atomic breath, burning ability, super agility, good fighting ability, and great resistance, especially when it comes to the oxygen destroyer. Now, putting at these two kaijus, how strong they are, if this were to be against... You know what, I'm not going to say this because this would be an interesting battle. If you, could, if you guys would like me to do the debate between Shin Godzilla, I'm going to tell you right now it would be a completely different outcome because of the nuclear radiation. Just because he's an abomination, he gets more, he gets a higher ability count. That would be a different one. But when it comes to these two monsters, um... The the powers definitely outweigh Godzilla, so I'm gonna go 2-1 due to overtime, making Earth Ghidorah the winner of this debate. You can obviously, this is just my opinion, you can obviously debate me in the comment section below, I will leave the description of what I was talking about in the description, <laughs> obviously same thing, uh, in the description of the video. And uh, that's about it, 2-1 in terms of Ghidorah, or Earth Ghidorah is the winner. Thank you so much for watching, and as always, have a great day.